You have a big smile. Thank you. <laughs> What's going on, Charlie here? I'm Jean. Thanks for tuning in to Multicasking. We're continuing down that Kentucky Bourbon Trail. Yes. Pick this up at the Frazier Museum. This mm -hmm. is the Bluegrass Stillers. This is a single barrel Jean. This has a mash bill of 75% yellow corn, 21% uh, rye, 5%, 4% rather malted barley. I'll tell you right now, here's my problem with it. They call themselves a high rye with only 21% rye. Hmm. That's a pet peeve of mine. If you're gonna be a high rye, be at least 25 to 30, folks. Be at least 25 to 30. Um, two years old. Uh, this is bottled, if you're curious, Christmas Eve 2018. That's right. Um, uh, that's what it was barrel work. Brother. They're hard at work. Cast strength. Dying. 61.35 is your ABV, 122. Uh, they have poor penmanship. They got the math wrong. Uh, they had the math wrong, so let me do my own math, 100, and they're just handwritten. Handwritten, and they have my penmanship. So what they wrote here is 61.35 ABV and 123.5 proof. So, mm. a lot. And Gina has pre-poured this today. It's two years old, if I didn't say that. I get... A lot of spearmint on the nose. This is like a sour spearmint. I get sour mash and I, you know what I get, Gene? I get white dog. White dog? I get yeah. white dog. Yep, yep, yep. I get sour mash, I get white dog. Well, you said two years, so I guess that would make sense why you would not. Nah, you used to get white dog at two years. A lot of times you don't, though. A lot of times they, if they get white, the master distillers taste some white dog, they don't put it in there. Well, yeah, but this is our first Christmas Eve, so. Yeah, that's true. That's true. This is our first go in on Bluegrass Distillers. Uh, Fraser Museum is the number one stop of the Kentucky Bourbon Trail. Gina and I went there for you. Uh, if you've been on the Kentucky Bourbon Trail or you plan to go, what is your number one? What is your go-to distillery you want to get to when you eventually go there? Put that down in the comments for us. Um, like a really salty toffee. You know those, the, the, the salt toffee? Saltwater taffy? But I'm getting like a toffee. Like I don't a, know a salty toffee. I don't know. It's like a salty and toffee at the same time. I get brine. I get your. I get brine. I get new make. I get sunflower seeds. Touch of caramel. I can. I can tell that the it's a got a high it. ABV. I can't actually. You can't. A little bit of nope. caramel. Just a hint of it. How about it going? Maybe some oak. It's hard to actually say anything on the nose other than the spearmint. Going lightly, slowly. Okay. Wow. Man. That wakes you up, folks. I'm going to power my car with this later. Woo. There's the 61. <laughs> wow. Okay. The nose is misleading. I see you, Bluegrass. I wow. see you. Um, so, I'm gonna mm. have to go. I'm gonna have to go back in for that. Let me cleanse my palate. So like, I'm getting a lot of that spearmint that I got on the nose. I'm tasting a lot of that that aftertaste. That finish is heavy spearmint with some peppers. And man, you can tell this is a high ABV. Um, wow. Cleans out your sinuses. <sighs> so, I still get white dog. It's like it upped it. When I first, my first sip was caramel, oat, pepper. Um, yes. It was so overpowering on my palate, I did not get the white dog at all. I got the, oh my God, this is 61. <laughs> um, mm. I'm struggling to find other notes. I do not get any rise, which is my problem when you call yourself high rye and you advertise you're a high rye. You better bring me some rye. Well, the spearmint is, I consider spearmint a be, a, to be a rye note, and um, there's a lot of spearmint in here. Um, like really heavy spearmint. But um, yeah, as far as the other the rye notes, I'm, I'm not getting like that doughy bread, um, clove. I'm not getting any of those things. But. Maybe it's just so overpowered from the, the spearmint and that sting. It, it's not, I'd say it's not a bad sting. Um, oh no, I, I wasn't complaining. <laughs> I'm doing three drops. My wife has never complained a day in her life. She just simply gives suggestions. <laughs> That's probably not 
not what she wanted to do, <laughs> is it? Um, you get more sunflower seeds, like not like a flavored sunflower seed, but like a shelled, salty sunflower seed. I'm getting your spearmint now. Before I did not get your spearmint. Not you're getting spearmint. You're like heavy spearmint. Oh yeah. yeah. I'm getting no heavy spearmint. Maybe a little bit more, um, like a like a cotton candy sugar on the nose now. I'm getting um, okay. So you you we have a, a nut shop here in town specializes in, in roasted nuts called the Nifty Nut House. Like when you get a bag of uh, a box whatever of mixed mm. nuts. And it's that, that dust, uh, the, the leavens, the, all the salt and the brine, the peanut shells at the bottom. I'm getting peanut shell brine. Cranked up my peppers um, that, um, yeah, I, I get your peanut shells. Mm -hmm. um, but the, the water, man, just cranked up my peppers. This is definitely better than when we tried it. So. You mean the uncorking? Mm hmm. Yeah, can you add a dollar for me? Where? No, I don't have a dollar. Do not have you. So we got a tip jar here, folks. Tip jar is when you, when she or me, normally it's me, when we like something now better than the uncorking, you are a dollar to the jar at the end of the year, we'll buy a bottle. Mm, I well, don't we, know my next number. But we didn't actually start this, uh, well, three months ago probably. So that's why it's still kind of, I mean, it's probably 30 bucks in there. Got my number all nice and ready for you folks. You came all the way over here. Don't you have to sit around and wait. What'd you do, Gene? 87. 84. 84, huh? 84. 84. Well. Um, it's castrate, which is cool. Um, but it's it's just a white dog. And I don't mind white dog. I, I'll, I'll drink a white dog. Um, but I don't want castrate white dog. We already have, we own castrate white dog. We have, I don't need to know. But there's a lot of, of those, the flavors are in here for me too. And it's got my peppers, so whatever. What, uh, what, what did you pay for it? $62. Oh, hell no. It yeah, is not fine. worth it. Not even a little bit is this worth $62. Oh, the price tag's already yeah. actually still on here. Right. Fraser Museum, $62. Yep, 62 bucks. Uh, yeah, not even close. I mean, it's cool for being a cast rank, but no. And I I shot by ABV and I saw yeah. it on my cast rank. I'm going to get it, uh, knowing nothing about bluegrass. But yeah, um, 62 I think, is a bit much, even, even if it is a cast rank. Uh, expe way below expe expectations. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, sit so your task strength, your advertising, your high ride, your in Fraser Museum, the, the start of the Kentucky Bourbon Trail, right. and they they have in their gift shop they have whiskeys that are hard to get. Mm -hmm. So this is hard to get because it's a Fraser Museum, but I don't know. Maybe For me, it's not worth it. I don't know. Uh, but um, yeah, at five years, I bet this is damn tasty. Mm -hmm. Two years, no. Right, um, um, and I was kind of expecting a lot more uh, flavors when you add water to a cast strength. You oh know, having yeah, some things come out, but it really didn't. Good call. So Good call. There's that. Yep, but we owe a dollar to the tip jar. Um, if you like, if you like our merch, you can go to multicasting.com. Pick up merch just in time for Christmas. <laughs> so okay, Brockmeyer. We have uh, not seen that. Uh, uh, tune in. If you want a, we have a code we're, we're doing for our first anniversary. Oh, yeah, right. we're doing a code. Check check out and tune in for our first year, one year anniversary show. We're gonna have a discount code on our merch site on multicasting.com, so you get free free shipping. So go watch that uh, episode, view video episode, and you'll get the code for a free merch or free shipping on our merch. Free shipping. Free shipping. Not free shipping. Free yep. Merch. That's well, whatever. Anything to add, Gene? Uh, no, I okay. have nothing else to add. I'm Charlie. And I'm Gene, and I hope you are just as thirsty as we are, tongue-tied and everything. <laughs>